blues music is very, very, very similar to traditional music of these islands. In fact, Bob Copper, who, who sadly has just died, is one of our, our oldest and most loveliest traditional singers. Um, he heard the blues when he was a young man. And he, the first time he heard it, he thought, but that's just like our songs, and they are. Our, the songs here are the, um, it's the working class music of, this, of these islands. Um, and it's the history, really, of these islands. You won't find, um, you won't find that working class history in the history books, certainly. You'll find it in the oral tradition. The history books were written by learned people. And there was always um, an, an agenda to make history look, you know, something better than it was. But the real, the real uh, story is, is written by the... And that's the same with the blues. It's the same with, with the black population. Um, they were very, very put upon, so they took it out. You know, they wrote it all in the music. Certainly, the, the um, black population of America had no voice. And, um, and the uh, working class people, the very, very peasant class of these islands, had no voice either. The only voice that they had was their music. And uh, there's no, you know, it's not a surprise to find that they're, they're, they're quite similar. They come from the same root. The thing about the women in the house was that the women stayed in the houses. They never went into public houses. I mean, the men went into public houses. So you would get um, a, a man's perspective if you collected the songs in the pubs, and a lot were collected in the pubs. But a lot of the collectors, including Cecil Sharp, thought it would be nicer to collect from the women. And he, in all his collection life, he said the best singer that he ever heard was a woman a lady called Betsy Holland, who probably couldn't read or write. And I think that you have to tell the story, and the story, if it's a woman telling the story, then you have to do that. If it's a man telling the story, you can do it as well. I mean, the, there is no, there's no rules that say women have to sing women's songs and men have to sing men's songs. And, and um, you know, the collections show it because some of the bloodiest songs were, were collected from women, um, you know. It, uh, a murder, murder of women were collected from women. So I think what these songs were, what these people saw that these songs were, were warnings. You know, this is what happened to me, don't let it happen to you. Um, you know, they're warning the young ladies not to go in you know, the red barn like Mariah Martin did. And, and, um, and before there was such an amazing amount of media in this country, these songs went around and served as a little warning.